Jason Ray on the line from Last Word on College Football. Check out his work and the rest of the crew over there. Of course, so we talk college football here every day. Our aim, our mission, our goal is best discussion, debate, and analysis. So block it on in. Uh, once you subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications. That way you know when we're going live. Relique Brown gained a ton of attention when he made his announcement a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Top rated player uh, out of the state of California, number three in the state, number three at the position of running back. So that obviously was a huge get for Lincoln Riley to go out of state and reel in somebody from the West Coast. Yeah, absolutely. And and I think Oklahoma has, has gone head to head with Texas A&M on the few recruits here here as of late. You know, some have been successful. I think, you know, Wanya Morris was a was a transfer portal guy that was really between Oklahoma and Texas A&M. And then um, Eric Gray, there was some thoughts that maybe he was either, he would he would consider Texas or Texas A&M and Oklahoma eventually got him. And here's another one at the running back uh, position. As you mentioned, one of the best one of the best running backs in the country, number three overall, I believe, number uh, number three running back, number 25 overall recruit um, in the country from 247. Uh I think Oklahoma fans probably take this with a little bit of a grain of salt, given the track record that they've had over the last two years on securing commitments from um, top rated running backs early on, only to lose them later on in the cycle. So I think it, to your point, Riley going in there and getting that, getting that kid out of a, you know, a really well-established high school at Matter Die um, is, is really a, is a big, you know, coup for, for Riley. But I think, Oklahoma fans will probably have more of a kind of a wait and see mentality with him. So, but having a five-star commitment early on in the period is, is really important. You know, I'm not sure what you believe from some of these kids from a social media perspective, but he has came out, come out and say that he has no interest in a long recruiting process. He has no interest in wavering. He wants to be done with it. He wanted to get this, you know, completed and, and not have to worry about, you know, the recruiting process in the middle of the, of the football season next year. So, you know, I don't know if you, how, how well you take that, but, you know, all signs point to, you know, maybe this being more of a secure uh, commitment than, than what Oklahoma has, has seen in the past. And, and, you know, looking at some of the, the 2020 guys that Oklahoma has uh, right now, they have five commitments, number five overall ranking um, in 247. Uh, you know, Ray Leak Brown is the, is the headliner at this point from a running back perspective, but Oklahoma has already have already has three other commitments from the wide receiver position. Three of the top 17 wide receivers in the country um, are, are signed are, are committed to Oklahoma at this point. Um, probably we talked a little bit about Gentry Williams being the number one overall uh, player in the state of Oklahoma. Um, Talon Shetron from Edmund Santa Fe wide receivers, probably the number two player in the state of Oklahoma overall wide receiver, number seven wide receiver in the country, number 57 overall player at local, another local product here in Oklahoma, actually in Edmond at Edmond Santa Fe high school. Um, and then the, the, the next wide receiver, Luther burden uh, from St. Louis, Missouri, number 57 overall, I'm sorry, number 69 overall player, number 10 ranked wide receiver in the country as well has committed to Oklahoma. And he is very active, um, on, on Twitter and social media, very big proponent of Oklahoma. Uh, almost everything that you see is very pro Oklahoma trying to get, you know, other kids to come, certainly to come join you for that 2020 class. And, and then last Jordan Hudson, who is a more recent, um, more, a more recent commitment out of Garland, Texas, number 16 wide receiver in the country, number one, number 127 overall um, commitment. So four of the five guys that Oklahoma has committed in this class are on the offensive side of the ball. The other one is a linebacker, uh, Colby McKenzie, inside linebacker, um, number 95 overall, number five inside linebacker in the country. So the one thing that you've seen consistently, Mark, with, you know, early on in this class and then the 2021 class is the quality of commitment that Oklahoma has got is a lot better than we've seen over the last few years. I know Oklahoma only signed 16, 17 kids in the 2021 cycle. It ended up working well with all the transfers that they've got through the portal, uh, and I think that was deliberate. But I think the one thing that people will notice from Oklahoma's recruiting over these last few years is specifically the last couple of years is the quality of recruits. Typically, they're they're mostly four- and five-star guys. There's a couple three-star guys Um littered in there as well but the the quality is i think what uh, oklahoma fans and, and people will probably notice out of these kids over the last couple of recru recruiting periods 